top secret Pentagon research projects have long been the stuff of conspiracy theories. But some of them are real. They actually happened and they're worth knowing about. For example, this week, in response to a Freedom of Information Act request, the Defense Intelligence Agency disclosed that it had, in fact, funded research into UFO-related techno technologies. This would include the invisibility cloak, warp drives, and anti-gravity. The DIA spent $22 million from 2007 to 2005. The program apparently was initiated by then-Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid of Nevada. Nick Pope is one of the world's experts in this. He wants to investigate UFOs of the British government. He joins us tonight. Nick, thanks for coming on. It does sound like the core assumption of this research was that UFOs are real. Yes, it really does. This is something of a bombshell, I think. For months, the Defense Intelligence Agency and the DOD have been trying to spin this story as, well, it's just about advanced aerospace weapons threats. But now we have this document which shows quite clearly what they were looking into. And it's nothing to do with airplanes. It's, it's as you say, anti-gravity, invisibility, cloaking, wormholes, and warp drive. Some of this is about space travel. These ideas are derived from objects that the U.S. government observed in space, presumably? Well, we still don't know much of the story. We really only have a handful of papers and documents on this. I got this uh, from the DIA's Office of Corporate Communications, and we're still trying to digest what this means. There are 38 papers that they produced under this contract, defense intelligence reference documents, looking at things which, frankly, sound like science fiction, and yet they're not. Our tax dollars have been spent on looking at this. And you know, there's one of these papers which absolutely is, is critical. It's looking at something called the Drake Equation. And the Drake mm. Equation is, this is supposed to be a way that astronomers can calculate how many intelligent civilizations there might be in our galaxy. Well, look, if this is not a UFO program, if this is just about Russian and Chinese aircraft, what the heck are they looking at that for? Why wouldn't the U.S. government just say, I don't think it'd be especially controversial, we believe it's possible that there are other forms of life in the universe and we're looking into it. Why hide that? Well, I hope that's exactly what they will now say. I think we know that this, this letter, which I've now acquired and which has been released under the Freedom of Information Act, we know that this went to Congress. We know that the Armed Services Committee is looking at this very seriously. They're also looking into those videos that we've talked about before of the Navy jets chasing yes. UFOs. So I think the real question is, what's going on behind the scenes? And I'm hoping that in the next few weeks, maybe months, Congress is going to say more about this. The Armed Services Committee will speak out and maybe we'll have public hearings at which all this will be revealed. So former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, who was for many years in a position to have access to this information for certain, has basically said in public, I, I know a lot. I think this is real but he hasn't gone farther than that. Have you spoken to him? Has anyone spoken to him? I've not spoken to him personally, but I've seen some of his interviews. I've seen his statements. I've seen one of his documents. And for anyone who's trying to say, well, this isn't really about UFOs, it's about next generation aircraft, missiles, and, and drones. No, it isn't. Harry Reid has made it perfectly clear. This is about anomalous objects in our airspace and yes. call them UFOs, whatever you like. You know, we take them seriously. The government has been looking at this. Why all the lying? That's what piques my interest. It always piques my interest. Nick Pope, thank you for all the work you do on this. The non-crazy, sober, responsible work you do, and I appreciate it. Well, that's it for us tonight. And let me just say, there is an awful lot of lying, and none of it happens by accident. All lying in Washington is designed for the benefit of the people telling the lies, and it's a tantalizing clue that we had to press a little more.